Okay, so we have four pictures of how a plant grows. Which one happens first? Seed. The seed. Which one shows the seed? This pre-kindergarten class at Link Elementary School is learning a lot about science. We've been studying weather patterns. We've done some graphing with it, some predictions about it, some reading with it. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Casey Curry. They have also been watching a local expert on the subject. It's a little breezier today. But today, they will do more than just watch Channel 13 meteorologist Casey Curry. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till we can see her. With some technical help from their teacher, they can talk to her too. Curry. Today we Skype with meteorologist Casey Curry from Channel 13 about weather. Our pre-K classes had just finished up a unit about weather um, and how it affects our lives is also taking care of our planet Earth. So I thought that would be a good closeout to it. Here's the studio so you can kind of see behind me. After a brief tour of the studio, it's down to business. So you guys were asking me about being a meteorologist. Yes. We do a lot of preparation kind of like what you do before a test. I read lots of things, I study. They were asking her things about the tools that she uses, um, about why certain weather things happen, such as um, rain. Do you know where rain comes from? Tell me where rain comes from. The clouds. Did you know that water makes up the clouds? Yes. So when the clouds get really heavy and full of water, that's when it rains. Hola. Hola. Francisco wants to know how rainbows are made. When there's rain and sun, you get to see all of the colors that are in light. Light has all of those colors, and the water acts as a filter for the sunshine. The Link Elementary teachers follow that up with a demonstration. Everyone come stand right here along the sidewalk. There is no rain today, but there is a prism. It's like the drop of water that it gets in the air after it rains. And the sun shines over the drop of water and goes through and forms a Let's give her a big thank you. Thank you. Back in the classroom, the students thank this meteorologist who has helped them learn a little more about their environment. They need real world application. It's one thing for me to show them the videos, but they aren't sure if she's real or make believe or what have you. But when they can see her and interact with her personally, it makes a big difference. It made a difference to this little girl who decided that one big word might not be as difficult as she thought. What did you write? Meteorology. After her class spoke with Casey Curry, this pre-kindergarten student was inspired to write. It's an impressive effort when you're only five years old. How did you know which letters to write? I said the sun and I write it. Amazing. I'm so proud of you. Give me a high five. And I'll give you some sparkles. No matter what weather predictions are made for these students at Link Elementary, the forecast is looking bright.